or later. Hmm. Again, great to see you all. Um, happy Thursday and exciting week. Um, my gosh, if you're a Catholic overachiever, you maybe have been a part of Mass for the Feast of, oh golly, so many things. We had uh, St. Therese of Lisieux. We had the Guardian Angels. Um, so lots of graces flowing these days, and we're going to keep it going. And yeah, once again, Jocelyn will lead us in a reflection and short and sweet. You know, we pack in the graces here, you know. Um, we know folks are busy and we're so grateful that you're joining us for this little moment of grace uh, on your Thursday afternoon. Yeah, I'll just wait another minute or so. A few more folks may join us. Um, and... Uh, yeah, but on the East Coast, who knows, you're maybe uh, back from picking up kids from school or looking at your watch, waiting for the clock to tick down uh, for the end of your workday in middle America, you know, got a little more time on our hands, but, uh, you know, cup of coffee, a little prayer and good place to be. Mm-hmm. So good to see uh, some familiar faces, some new faces. Um, we are glad to be here with all of you once again. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're up into the 20s now. That's exciting. Um, let's see, maybe I'll go ahead and give a little intro for um, Jocelyn. Uh, we are so happy she's with us again. Um, she and I work together, this door behind me, she's right behind that door. We have a small office, but um, a lot of grace is flowing through here. She did a wonderful job leading us um, in some reflections in May on Thursdays, maybe a few of you were with us, and uh, a little teaser. She just got back from a beautiful pilgrimage, and I think she might say a few words about that. Maybe some of you have been on some great trips of prayer and adventure. Um, I'm Father Joe Laramie, National Director of the Pope's Prayer Network. Uh, since 1844, we've been uniting our hearts with the heart of Jesus for the salvation of all hearts. So happy that you're with us. We pray each month for the Pope's intentions. This month, we're praying for the Synod in Rome, this great gathering, this conversation and prayer in the church. And with that, I'll kick it over to Jocelyn. Thank you. Thank you, Father Joe. Thank you to everyone that is taking the time today, this afternoon, to join us here from wherever you may be. Um, yeah, so we have this space that we call Thursdays from the Heart, uh, just 15 minutes of your day each Thursday for this month of October, if you're able to join us for all or just for a couple. And we just wanted to give you all the space to be able to pray together. So. 15 minutes go by really quickly, and so uh, we'll be opening up in prayer, then I'll read the gospel, and after that, um, I'm just going to share a couple of brief words about my pilgrimage that I just got back from that Father Joe mentioned, and then just open up the floor for uh, all of you guys to be able to share any prayer intentions that you may have, and so you can use the chat to share the intentions or um We'll get to the point where you can unmute yourselves and then share them out loud with everyone. And we just found it a big blessing last time that we did this in May to be able to give the space to uh, pray with each other as a community. And uh, we're all apostles of prayer here at the Pope's Prayer Network. And so um, it was really beautiful to be able to uh, receive Check everyone's it. intentions, but also to be able to share whatever we whatever we were going through in our own lives or people around us that we knew needed prayers. So uh, whenever you have time, you can already start throwing them in the chat, um, but we'll have a little bit more time later on. And so whenever we do share them out loud, I just ask that you keep them short and sweet. Um, 
that way as many people can share intentions as possible and yeah this this month of october um started with one of my favorite saints feast days saint therese and so we're gonna ask for her intercession today um to continue to guide us closer to jesus because she loved him so well so let's open up in prayer if you want to join me in the name of the father son holy spirit, the holy amen. spirit amen thank you lord for the gift of this day thank you for this time of prayer to be able to come together as a community and to be able to recognize that we are not alone in this walk of faith that you're always with us but that you also give us a gift of people from all around the world and in our own parishes and in our neighborhoods that we can um, rely on for yeah. prayers yeah. and for intercession and yes. we just pray that you may continue to walk us closer to your heart where we can experience the deep love that you have for each one of us amen and fathers amen. amen all right so um today i'm reading the gospel for today's mass but i think in the future weeks i might be sharing the gospel for sunday for the upcoming sunday um just because more of us will be able to hear it in case we can't make it to a daily mass so you want to um follow along as i read today's gospel a reading from the gospel of luke Jesus appointed 72 disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you. For the laborer, laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, Eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, The dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on the day on that day, then, for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Amen. to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, like Father said earlier, um, I just got back from Spain. I walked the Camino de Santiago, which is Beautiful. like a 30 to 34-day pilgrimage, um, if you do the whole thing, across northern Spain. And um, we're following in the footsteps of St. James. And um, at the end, we reach Santiago de Compostela, which is where uh, his body is buried. And there's this big cathedral um, that I went to mass at once I got there. And I just wanted to share, just like hopefully throughout the weeks, so I'll share a little story here and there from that time. But specifically today, like connecting it to the gospel while I was there, even though it's like this Catholic pilgrimage and we pass by so many small towns and that each have their own Catholic church or chapel. Um, it's definitely a pilgrimage that has a lot of people walking that aren't Catholic or uh, necessarily practicing any faith. And so it was interesting, like finding myself there. I knew that beforehand. Uh, but still, even then, like there were certain things that were, I would say, like countercultural that maybe some people were like, oh, she's going to mass. Oh, OK. Um, like, And I had like multiple opportunities to be able to like invite people to go with me or to be able to share just a little bit about like confession with one of the friends that I made or um, about Mary and my relationship with her or 
how the Catholic faith doesn't worship her, but we love her as like the mother of God and um, this example that she is as a woman to all of us. And so it was interesting, like the the line where it says um, in the gospel, I will, I'm sending you like lambs among wolves. Um, I didn't find any wolves out there, but uh, there were definitely times where I was, nervous to like stand up and share my faith um, with the people that were walking with me and I'm sure that you have all probably felt a similar way at some point or another where uh, the opinions that are being shared maybe are very strong or by a person that isn't like sharing them in a nice or a kind way that it is intimidating to like stand up for uh, what I or you believe but it was also a good time to be able to be uncomfortable and to like see how I reacted, but also to like know that I was surrounded by all these people that I knew like were created by God. And therefore, like I wanted to love them in the same way or see them in the same way that the Lord sees them um, as his children and as um, the ones whom his heart is like beating for. And so that was a, a really awesome opportunity to be able to practice that every day and yeah so I'll share a little bit more like in the coming weeks but um, I wanted to open up the floor for all of you guys to be able to share any prayer intentions that you may have and um, any way in which we everyone here that is here today in the following weeks can be praying for you and I'm recording this um, and the following weeks of the Thursdays from the heart so that you can go back uh, on YouTube and find this video and hear all the prayer intentions that people mentioned. Um, so that way we can continue to pray for each other. So yeah, if you want to unmute yourself or um, raise your hand and share any prayer intentions. Gabrielle said prayer request for the strength of the Lord. See Gabrielle and short and sweet, uh for us yes thank you uh i would like to pray for the strength of the lord because i've been sick for a couple of months mm. and today i was feeling weak mm. and i need the strength to go to church to pray yes we'll be praying Amen. and i'm praying for rwanda because there is an outbreak of a new virus a virus mm. Mm. It is killing people, and uh, 12 people within a week almost are dead. And some mm. are in hospitals have been told that information, so we pray for them. Yes, pray for them. Luciana said, prayer request for health and finding joy in the little things in life. Mm -hmm. Other intentions? Uh, Luciana, yeah. I see you. <laughs> I just briefly, thank you very much. I think it's pretty clear. I've been having some health challenge, chronic health. Mm -hmm. And so I need the strength and your prayers to enjoy the little things in life that make those things bearable. Thank you. Yes, of course. Lillian? Um, Claire said prayer. Can you, can you hear me? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, I'm praying for. Oh, you are muted again, sorry. Okay, I, uh, I'm i praying for my health. Uh, quite long, long, quite long ago, the, the doctor told me that my BP is coming higher and higher. And, you know, the day I stopped drinking, taking medication, it continues, it gets too high. 171 and then uh, and then 160 and all that and not coming down but as well uh, uh upon that i still managed to you know to carry out my work and my duty as a sacred heart uh, devotee and then i also want to pray for my admission i applied for masters in uh to study masters in the u.s i applied in three schools and i'm praying for the success because it's on review now okay yeah we'll pray for you yeah. and for 
schooling yeah. as well. Thank you. Thank you. And then Claire asks um, my prayers for or says my prayers for the church, for our leaders and their integrity. And then Lumira says, please pray for my high school and college age children to find their vocation in life, walking always with God. Yeah, thank you for sharing those. Anyone else that would like to share any prayer intentions? I see Sister Anna. Thanks for joining us. Any prayers you might have? Sorry. Yes, go ahead. Okay, thank you, Sister. Paula said, prayer request for healing of families for young adults, young men and women. Yes. Okay, okay. So, you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, well, like everybody is praying um, for the for peace and in Middle East, especially the Lebanon, Li Li Lebanon, Lebanon, yeah, because we are have nearby a parish that Our Lady of Lebanon and so well, all Middle East, peace for them and all the places in, in war. And in fact, this Monday, uh, our Pope asked all the church and all the people uh, with, who want to to uh, to share the, the prayer for, for peace and for the synod and and all on the missionary uh, uh, in this month of mission. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Amen. Um, yes, so our time is quickly, like I said, wrapping up, but I did want to mention that all of the prayer intentions that were mentioned, I'm saving them from our group chat and I'm adding them to a list. Um, that way we can keep them throughout the month. And we usually offer a mass um, at some point throughout the month for all the prayer intentions that uh, we receive from all of you guys. And um, just to wrap things up real quick, Lillian's going to close us up in a prayer. But before that, I wanted to share two things. Uh, one, we have on our website, like a resource for schools, for any teachers, but also um, I was thinking, or Father Joe and I were thinking for anyone that teaches like catechism at church or is leading any high schoolers in a Bible study, uh, we have like a resource that we created and create each month with the prayer intention. And it has some questions and um, like discussion points for a small group or a, any students in a classroom. So you guys can click that link if you wanted to take use of that or and share with anyone that you know that's a teacher. And then also we have like a newsletter that we send out with uh, anything that we post on our website or any blogs or anything like that, videos that we make um, that you can also sign up to receive uh, weekly or bi-weekly, uh, whatever might be best for you. So thank you for joining us. And Lillian, if you want to close us in a um, short prayer. Thank you. Okay. And the mother, father, and the son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Jesus, as we conclude our session this afternoon, we seek your guidance and wisdom. Direct our paths and help us make decisions that honor you. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we may discern your will in our lives. Grant us the courage to follow your lead and the humility to accept your plans. Help us to learn to console your most sacred hearts and propagate the mission and love of thy sweet hearts. These are more we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Your Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you to everyone, and um, we hope to see you again next week. And yeah, if you ever want to volunteer to open or close up in a prayer or read the gospel, I'll send the link in an email to you all um, so you guys can sign up for that. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Thank and you. Bob. Round of applause for Jocelyn. Such a wonderful job as always. Uh, a woman of faith, hope, and love. Grateful she could lead us once again. And we hope to see you next week. Um, and each Thursday in October.
Jocelyn has been on the Camino for a month. She was hiking for a month in a foreign country. Like, <laughs> I know priests older than me who wouldn't want to do that. She did it all by herself, but with the Holy Spirit guiding her. Um, so we're so grateful. Yes, thank you. Pray for us all. We are leading uh, uh, some college students on a retreat this weekend. So mm -hmm. keep Father and I in, our pra in your prayers. All right, I'm going to close or stop the recording.